Hey Gam Fam, welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog is gonna be really really fun because it's my Tai Tai Changge vlog. Actually Tai Tai Changges vlog because it's not just one but four Changges that we visited for this specific vlog. But before we start, make sure that you're already subscribed to my channel and you've already clicked on that bell button so you're always notified whenever I have new videos like this one. So a lot of you have been requesting for me to hit up the Tai Tai Changges. It took me this long to do it because number one, I live all the way in the south and it takes me two hours to get to the Tai Tai Changge. But I finally decided to do it for you, my dear Cam Fam, and for this specific vlog challenge because this is actually a vlog challenge. What is it? It's actually connected to The Politician, which is Netflix's new show. It's already streaming all over the world. I was lucky enough to be given a special preview of this series. So I've already done been watching the entire season Season 1 and I just got so inspired by the show that I really wanted to do this special challenge. So what is a politician? So the politician centers around Peyton Hobart, which is the main character. He feels that he is destined to be the next president of the United States. So to become the next president of the United States, he also needs to be the president of his high school Muna. So it's centered around a high school in California. And you might think that, oh, it's just another one of those like high school shows. <laughs> like I was so surprised. It's totally so different from what I expected from it. It is created by Ryan Murphy. So it is kind of like a dark comedy. And it's so exaggerated because most of the main characters here are super duper extravagant. Like their outfits are insane. Like super duper preppy and everything is just so extra. Like for example, Gwyneth Paltrow, she plays the mother of Peyton Hobart and they're super duper rich as in rich as F. And she goes walking around in their house in a cape dress. Talong talo yung gown ko. <laughs> or like she's in their maze of a garden. Not just a garden, but a maze of a garden. And she's like doing her artwork in this like long kimono. Basta like they're outfits are insane. So needless to say, the outfits on this show is bougie as F. Like super duper bougie as in upper class, super extra, super bonga. So in line with this, Netflix has challenged me to dress bougie a la politician but without breaking the bank. So can we really dress bougie without breaking the bank? Here comes Tai Tai Changge to our rescue. <laughs> so a lot of you have been telling me that the Tai Tai Changges are super duper cheap. Like so cheap and there's so many good stuff. So feeling ko ito talaga yung best place for me to do this challenge. Are you guys ready to see my Tai Tai Changge shopping challenge? Let's go! So now we're on the way to the Tai Tai Changges. We're gonna hit up Bagpi first and then see if we have time or if we're not able to find everything in Bagpi, then we'll check out all the other Changges. I've been doing a lot of research and they say that there's a lot of different stalls there, so hopefully, we'll really be able to find all our bougie outfits. Guys, it's a bit because I come from Alabang, so we've been in the car for maybe an hour and a half already, and we're not even in Rizal yet. We're just in Artigas. People always say that it's worth it, so I'm sure it'll be worth it. It'll be worth the travel and the braving of this rain. It's for you, Cam Fam. Okay, we finally arrived, and the place is huge. Hindi lang pala siya bagpi. Everything is like right beside each other. It's like a compound of different changges. So there's bagpi, there's igpai, there's TMT, there's um, my soul. It's so huge. Okay, kaya ba natin to? <laughs> Let's do this. About to leave. Oh. We have fun. We just entered and we found something If you see on the show, they wear a lot of like muscle girl blonde skirts. We got this for 130 pesos. Walang tawad pa yun. This is what we waited for. We have so much cute stuff. Masyado kaming na excited. 130 to 70 lang. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. 
Pinalit namin kay Kuya yung plastic niya because we forgot we brought that eagle bag! Tada! So trendy and current, they have tie-dye stuff. Magkano po ito? 60 po po. So if you buy 3 pieces, you get it for 60 pesos. Kaso lang hindi siya pasok sa challenge na. So we found this set. We're buying it for 300 with the mask and laser. It originally comes with a pair of shorts. And then we found another one. Laser naman. And shorts. This is 250. So we're getting this. So 250 and 300. 550. Super cute. 85 lang siya pag wholesale. Eyes on the freeway. Bonnie and Clyde. We're gonna get one of these. If you notice on the show as well, they always wear a lot of like collared shirts because they're really super duper preppy styles. So we're gonna style this with our monochrome outfit. But we must stick to the challenge. Sorry, how it's got a really nice fabric. We got our knit. Pang dance number. <laughs> but we are not gonna get that. It's not really funny. Super cute. Just remove the belt. Super cute. It's Camille Co approved. So cute. Okay, na yung mga ibili. We're getting this blue top that's kind of reminiscent of what Alex usually wears. That was my pearl hat for 200 pesos. But again, that's not our challenge. Sabi ni Kuya, libre daw lahat. Mura lang, she's free naman sa akin. Libre? Libre talaga? Mura lang sa'yo. Ay, lagi mura. Sabi niya kanina, libre. So we've now transferred to TMZ. According to Mano, it's Tai Tai Mega Chong. We've already finished bug feed. Sorry to come because it's raining now. Number one, it's not too hot. Number two, there's not a lot of people. Hopefully, we find the rest here. Look, it says Bershka. Maybe it's overruns. Gada. But a cute show. This one, cute. Not for the challenge. For my happiness. Kunin ko ba? Wala pa pera for the challenge. Check ko ba? Kunin natin. Yung nandun na maraming cash. Avant Gard. So cute. so cute. So these tops look like the kind of tops that Winnet Paltrow would wear on the show. Mga very pang madam. Yeah, the key is casual pambahay look for Madame Gwyneth Paltrow. For what? I don't know. For myself. How much to mga pearl ate? 50 po. Oh, these sets are like 55. And this one, the isang piraso is 35. So we're now at the EMF Chunky, which is right across the other Chunky. Walang plane? Wala po ate, wala pong plane. <laughs> plane lang po siya. One time po pag whole sale. Hashtag <laughs> God. Pinapanin ka siya. We're done with our shopping challenge. I feel like we've found a lot of different outfits for my The Politician inspired look. So I'm gonna head on home and change into these outfits, style them up, so I'll show you how I'm able to achieve this bougie look without breaking the back. We're already on our way home, so that means it's another two hours <laughs> to get back to the house. But yeah, you'll see the magic of our styling. 
magic and I'm now back here in my house. So we've already finished my Tai Tai Changge shopping. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I bought from the Tai Tai Changge. So most specifically, as you've seen from my video, I visited four Changges, which is Bagpi, Igpai, Tai Tai Mega Changge, and EMF. So at first, I thought I was just gonna visit Bagpi because it's so big and parang feeling ko I'll be so tired to check out the rest. But apparently, all the Changges are beside each other. So it's so, so convenient to just go around the entire place. But all the Changges are huge, like huge. So I felt pretty confident that we'd be able to do this challenge successfully. And successful we are. Yoda, is that you? I know a lot of you are really eager for me to share my Tai Tai Changge tips and like schedules and information that I learned from this trip. I will share that with you at the end of this video. First, I'm gonna show you what I bought from the Tai Tai Changges and how I styled them all bougie. So I'm gonna look a la politician. So for our first outfit, if you notice on the show, there's a lot of really nice knits, like knits na sweaters and shirts and plaid. There's a lot of plaid. So the bougie people of the politician like a lot of sweaters and knits and plaid. So you know it's never. But yeah. So for our first outfit, we found this knit. So of course it's no cashmere or wool sweater, but it is super pretty. It's got a really nice fit. It's this nice yellowish cream sweater. It's only for 100 pesos. And I paired it with this plaid skirt that we found on like one of the first few stores that we saw. So this is around 130 pesos. What I like about this is that it fits my hips and butt super duper great. Like really, really good. What I didn't like is that we bought it right away when we went inside. So that's one of the tips that you guys have to watch out for. Like I think if you have enough time, go around all the chunky or like more stalls before you start buying stuff because they do have a lot of plot there. Sobrang daming plot, as in, di ka mahirapan. If you really want to dress the bougie plot way, this is it. Like, Changge is the way to go. They have everything there. So, the reason why I see ako is because we got this for 130 pesos, which is not a bad price. But if you compare it to the other stalls that we saw, it was in a different style naman, pero plot then at around 80 pesos. So, I felt bad ng slight. But okay lang. Our total for this entire look is 230 pesos. Imagine that. Obviously, you're not gonna break the bank. And then, I paired it with headbands because I feel like the politician style kind of reminds me of Gossip Girl except more colorful. It's like Gossip Girl on Skittles, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know. So, if you remember yung preppy style ng Gossip Girl, they always like headbands. And I feel like this is something that one of the lead characters, Alice, would wear because he's always super duper preppy. And headbands are for the preppy girls. We got this for 50 pesos lang. So there's not a lot of accessory stores in Tai Tai Changge, at least for the four Changgeas that we visited. I did some crowdsourcing on Instagram stories and a lot of you also told me that there's just like one or two stores. And one or two stores indeed did we find. So that's our first preppy, bougie look. So this next outfit, I'm really, really excited about. It's one of the trends on the show that I really love. So one of the characters, McAfee, is always dressed in this style. She's always in really nice suits and monochromatic tones, like head-to-toe orange or like head-to-toe green. So abram cute no mga suits niya, and then she pairs it with mga matching colored shirts inside. So I got really inspired by her. So this is our next bougie style tip: dress in a monochromatic outfit, preferably in a suit as well. We found this first soup set. So it comes in this old rose pink color. So it's the blazer and the shorts. So this is in the jersey fabric. So it's not in the usual blazer fabric na woven. There's no lining also but it's okay. There's no visible panty lines. I feel like the fabric is thick enough. And in order to fulfill our full McAfee look, I paired it with this button-down polo in almost the same color as well. So for this set, we got it for 250 pesos plus this top which is at 120 pesos. This is such a good deal. So for this look, we have a total of a whopping 370 pesos! And since this look is inspired by McAfee, I decided to style it with a pair of sneakers because McAfee is always like very androgynous nga yung style niya. Like she's never in a skirt. So yeah, so this is really inspired by McAfee. Another outfit that we're doing. This is also a blazer set that we found in the Tai Tai Changges. And it's my favorite blazer set that we found. Ta-da! It's this super cute, like periwinkle lilac color. Oh, diba? Lakas maka bougie ng periwinkle. 
So wait lang, let me fix this. So it's this blazer set with shorts as well. It's garterized shorts. There are pockets, which is a good thing. So this set is worth 500 pesos for total na yon. It is kind of pricey compared to the other one, but you'll see that the fabric is also much, much more special. I didn't see any other stall that sells this exact same fabric. Like, they're the only stall that sells this. And that stall actually has a lot of Korean-inspired looks. So, super cute siya. So we paired this with, of course, let's just pretend this is cashmere. With this cashmere, <laughs> Knit top fits me so well. It's a long top, it's not a crop top. And this is worth 150 pesos. So this look is still inspired by McAfee, but if you want to be inspired by Alice, she's the girlfriend of Peyton, the lead character, and Alice dresses like a first lady, always. Like always in this like really proper shirt, always in her pearls. But because I didn't find any pearls, I decided to pair this with a pearl headband. Ta-da! We didn't find any pearl necklaces. Actually, we found one pearl necklace, but it was around 150 pesos and it didn't really look so nice and I found it expensive for the accessory. So we went with this headband instead which is worth 50 pesos. If you remove the blazer, it's even more inspired by our friend Alice because I used the first knit sweater and pretended na ito yung sweater slash cardigan niya because she also always wears a sweater over her shirt and then she ties it like this, very bougie, very preppy, very Upper East Side. So for our next bougie outfit, we are featuring this plaid set. So we found this set. It's a crop top with skirt. I super love the fit of the skirt. It reminds me of Britney Spears' Hit Me Baby One More Time era. So this look naman is inspired by Astrid and she's so pretty. If you watch Bohemian Rhapsody, she's the same girl. She plays the girlfriend of Freddie Mercury. So anyways, Astrid on The Politician is always in this really cute, girly, feminine outfits. And she had one outfit there where she was wearing like a plaid dress. And under her plaid dress, she was wearing her usual like colored top and then with a ribbon, always tied. So I paired it with my existing white button-down shirt. It's so easy to find. I just didn't want to waste any money for something that I already have in my closet. So this one is from Uniqlo. You can easily find it in the Tai Tai Chung Guess as well. There are some tops also that come with ribbons na. If no, then you can get resourceful. You can just buy like a black string or a black ribbon and tie it around your neck. It's the same effect. I was this close to getting so inspired by Alice that I would pair it with knee high socks. Pero wag na lang, parang hindi ko na kaya. I think I'm too old for that. So I paired it with my normal shoes. So there you go. That's our preppy outfit, a la Astrid. We're not done with our plaid outfits because I also found this really nice suit. So I feel like out of all the suits, this one looks the most bougie. So there's a lot of suits in the show, in the politicians. So we're also doing a lot. So we're also doing a lot of suits on this vlog. So this plaid suit that we found, it comes with matching shorts usually, but I pleaded with Ate to just give me with the pants. So I got this for 300 pesos, and we paired it again with a knit top. This is my favorite knit top out of all of them because this one really feels so luxe. And look at that knit work, super nice. And that particular store had a lot of really nice knits. Like, ang ganda talaga niya. It really doesn't look cheap. This knit top is 200 pesos. Honestly, I don't know who this is inspired by. I think we can say this is inspired by Peyton because he also has a lot of really nice suits and he pairs it with his nice knits as well. And then for our last bougie look, this one is again inspired by Astrid, the most beautiful girl in the show and in the world. I really just love her. I think I'm starting to have a girl crush on her. But yeah, so if you see her outfits on the show, she likes to play around with prints as well. She has this particular dress that has this very like retro, quirky, floral print. It was quite hard to find it in the Junge. So this is the closest one. Eh? This is the closest one I could find. Kind of like an English rose. She is British in real life. <laughs> and we got this dress for 110 pesos. So cheap, right?
I really wanted to look for like a high neck dress with probably sleeves, but eh. this is the best we could find. So I decided to style it with a turtleneck top inside. We went print on print. I feel like this is something Astrid would wear. So this is my bougie tip. Don't be afraid to play with fun and bold colors as seen on the show. So I just wore this underneath the dress. This turtleneck top is the most sulit buy out of everything because this is just 65 pesos. Imagine, it's just 15 pesos more than the headbands. So this is heavily inspired by Astrid. Would have been perfect to wear them with white boots, just like how Astrid likes to wear boots, but I don't have white boots that look like that, but it would be so cute with white boots. Sayang, sayang opportunity. But anyways, you get the point, you get the look. So oh yeah, those are all the bougie looks that I came up with without breaking the bank. Did you guys like it? I love this challenge so much because number one, my first time in Tai Tai Changge was such a pleasant experience. I didn't expect it to be this pleasant. Not because I didn't like going around the Changges, but because number one, I wasn't looking forward to the long travel time. And number two, when I was looking through all of the different blogs and blogs about the Tai Tai Changges, parang it was just I felt like I was gonna get overwhelmed because there was just so much stuff. There were so many stalls but when I got there actually it's not as overwhelming so I'm very thorough so I went around all the different aisles talaga as in it's isa ko sila so it was pretty easy like we finished looking for everything and shopping through the four changes in just two hours or maybe I'm just a fast shopper I don't think Yanni will agree with this but I think I am a fast shopper in just two hours we were able to find all of this what are the specific schedules when I checked all the schedules of the different changes most of them are open during Mondays and Thursdays so I feel like out of all the days in the week this is the same Safest. You can't also go so early. It's nicer if you go around lunchtime so you're sure all the stalls are already open. They have different closing times though between all the different changes and different days. So some days they are open until like 2 a.m. or 12 midnight. Some days they're just open until like 7 p.m. or 10 p.m. So you really have to do your research. The schedule changes a lot. People there are so nice. I was just telling my assistant Kay that I find the people here so nice. They're so accommodating and also even though it might get crowded when I went there it wasn't crowded because it was rainy so it wasn't hot for me as well I was expecting it to be so hot so a lot of people were telling me to dress really comfortably which I did but we do get to like bump into people accidentally and everyone was so nice and really like oh I'm so sorry I'm so sorry it's not like the usual that what you would expect like let's say pag 168 mall ka parang tutulak tulakan ka lang doon so dito ang babaet talaga rin. and then number three according to my research as well you can haggle but it was a personal personal choice for me not to haggle because I feel like all the prices were pretty good naman na and I really wanted to give back and these are mostly like locally made when I was asking the artist these are all their own creations so I really just wanted to help out so I did not haggle but yeah you can haggle that's what people usually say but I didn't try there is a difference with the pricing that there's wholesale and retail price so for us we were able to get some of this for wholesale like let's say some stores would actually say yes to just two pieces and that's already counted as wholesale when they say wholesale you don't have to buy the same piece you can buy a different color or a different style or a different something in the same price point and they would still allow that so usually though most stores need you to buy three pieces in order for it to be counted as wholesale it's not a huge price difference though between the wholesale and retail price because retail price is just usually 10 pesos uh, it's just usually an additional 10 pesos from the wholesale price also bring an eco bag because there's a lot of plastic there so we made sure also to bring our own eco bags again this is one of the tips that i found online so which changge should you hit first i feel like it's up to you but a lot of people did suggest magpi it was like a competition between magpi and igpai actually but i feel like it's a nice pace what we did we went to magpi first and then beside it was tai tai mega changge and then we went across it which was like emf and then we went back across magpi which is igpai so it was like we did like the square like there are other changes around the area like my soul or something so again a good five hours is i think a good enough time allocation if you're a slow shopper if you're a fast shopper like me two hours three hours is fine. in terms of the quality of the clothes it is a good mix there are some that's like not a good quality stuff but most are actually good they use nice fabrics especially the kids clothes if this challenge was for kids i would i would have more and more outfits 
Actually, I would still have more outfits now. It's just that I didn't want to make this vlog so long again. I'm so sure it's gonna be long again. So that's it for my vlog. I gave you guys my Tai Tai Changge tips. I also showed you guys how to dress bougie without breaking the bank. You just gotta be resourceful. It's not true that if you want to look expensive, you have to spend so much. It's really not the case. There's so many good local stores here in the Philippines. Our clothes and like shoe suppliers and bag suppliers here in the Philippines are so, so, so affordable. It's so easy for you to cop that look without having to shell out so much money. I mean, this is proof enough. We didn't spend a lot and we got what? All these six looks and they all look expensive. I don't know about you, but I think they look expensive. So yeah, again, I want to remind you to check out The Politician on Netflix. I binge watched it. It's such an easy show to watch and it's a feast for the eyes, especially if you're really into fashion. The fashion there is insane. Props to the costume designer. It's so, 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 so good. You guys have to check it out. And again, it's more than just another high school show. It's really not. It's more than that. You will get surprised. I wish I can say more, but I can't. So you know, I'll leave it at that. Bye, Cam fam. Let me know if you guys have started watching The Politician and how you like my looks or how you like the Tai Tai Changge vlog. Just let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Just don't ask me about specific stall numbers of which, like, of the stuff that we bought from. Because na windang nami hindi ko na sa sulat yon. So yeah, leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Bye everyone. Thank you so much.